Could you imagine a world where scientists can edit the DNA of living organisms with unprecedented precision? Welcome to the fascinating domain of genetic engineering, an area of science that is revolutionizing our understanding of life as we know it. Genetic engineering, in its simplest form, involves the manipulation of an organism's genes. It's like being a master architect, but instead of buildings, you're designing life itself. Scientists use this technology to precisely alter the DNA sequences within a cell, effectively changing the traits that the genes produce. Picture a world where we could eliminate genetic diseases from the human gene pool or design crops that are resistant to pests and harsh environmental conditions. Imagine being able to enhance human capabilities, making us stronger, smarter, or even extending our lifespan. These are the amazing possibilities that genetic engineering holds. But how does this all work? Think of DNA as a long string of coded instructions, a recipe that dictates the characteristics of a living organism. What genetic engineering does is essentially rewrite some parts of that recipe. Scientists can add, remove, or change sections of the DNA sequence, leading to altered traits. For example, they could potentially modify the DNA of a plant to make it more resistant to diseases. Another possibility is that they could edit the genes of a person with a genetic disorder, effectively curing them. It's a powerful tool, one that could usher in a new era of scientific discovery and medical breakthroughs. But as with any powerful tool, genetic engineering also comes with its own set of challenges. The ability to alter life at such a fundamental level raises significant ethical and moral questions. What are the implications of playing with the building blocks of life? Are there limits to what we should or shouldn't do? As we delve deeper into the realm of genetic engineering, we're faced with a myriad of ethical dilemmas. These dilemmas, and the potential ways we could navigate them, will be the focus of our next scene. So stay tuned and prepare to delve even deeper into this intriguing world of genetic engineering. Modifying the fundamental building blocks of life is not without its challenges. As we delve deeper into the realm of genetic engineering, it's essential to confront the ethical dilemmas that accompany this scientific frontier. One of the most pressing concerns is the potential for inequality. Imagine a world where genetic engineering becomes a common practice. Those who can afford these procedures may opt for enhancements that could lead to physical, intellectual, or aesthetic superiority. This could create a society divided not just by wealth, but by genetic privilege as well. The question then arises, how do we ensure that the benefits of genetic engineering are accessible to all, preventing a new kind of genetic divide? Adding to the complexity, the risk of unforeseen consequences looms large. While we may have the best intentions, the reality is that we're meddling with complex systems that we don't fully understand. As we edit genes to cure diseases or enhance human capabilities, we could inadvertently introduce new problems. How do we navigate this uncertainty, ensuring that we're not opening Pandora's box as we strive to improve the human condition? Then there's the moral question of altering nature's design. The idea of playing God has been a contentious issue in many fields of science, and genetic engineering is no exception. If we start editing our genes, are we overstepping the boundaries of what is ethically acceptable? Are we disrespecting the natural process of evolution? Or, on the other hand, could this be viewed as the next step in human evolution? a testament to our ingenuity and adaptability. In grappling with these ethical dilemmas, it's crucial to remember that genetic engineering is not just a scientific endeavor. It's a societal one. We're not merely discussing the technicalities of cutting and pasting genes. We're considering the kind of world we want to live in, the kind of people we want to be, and the kind of future we want to create. There are no easy answers to these questions. They demand thoughtful dialogue, rigorous debate, and careful consideration. Moreover, these ethical dilemmas underscore the importance of regulation. As we advance in our understanding and application of genetic engineering, it's essential that we have robust guidelines and oversight in place. These should not stifle innovation, but rather ensure it's conducted responsibly with a keen awareness of potential risks and a commitment to equity and justice. In the end, the power of genetic engineering is both awe-inspiring and humbling. It holds the potential to cure diseases, enhance our capabilities, and even create new forms of life. But with this power comes a profound responsibility. It's a responsibility to use this technology wisely, ethically, and for the betterment of all. As we stand on the brink of this new era, we must remember that our actions today will shape the world of tomorrow. This is the weighty reality of genetic engineering, and it's why these ethical questions are so vitally important. 
These ethical questions are central to the conversation about the future of genetic engineering. As we continue to explore this fascinating field, let us do so with open minds, compassionate hearts, and a steadfast commitment to the ethical principles that guide us. For in this delicate dance with DNA, it's not just about what we can do, but what we should do. Despite the ethical dilemmas, the potential of genetic engineering to change our world is immense. It's a statement that may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's the reality we're stepping into. It's akin to a highly specialized form of editing where the text is the genetic code of life itself. Let's start with one of the most apparent benefits, the ability to cure genetic diseases. There are thousands of diseases caused by genetic mutations, from cystic fibrosis to Huntington's disease. These disorders, many of which have no cure, cause untold suffering for millions of people around the world. But what if we could edit these genetic errors? What if we could ensure that no child is born with a genetic disorder ever again? This is the promise that genetic engineering holds. However, the potential of genetic engineering extends beyond the realm of disease. Imagine if we could enhance our capabilities, our strength, our intelligence, our lifespan. What if we could edit our genes to require less sleep or to bolster our immune system against diseases? What if we could reduce the cognitive decline that comes with aging? But the potential of genetic engineering doesn't stop at humans. It extends to every living organism. We could create crops that are more resistant to pests and climate change, potentially solving food scarcity problems. We could engineer bacteria that can break down plastic waste, addressing one of our most pressing environmental issues. We could even bring back extinct species or create entirely new ones. Each of these possibilities could change our world in profound ways. The power to shape life at such a fundamental level comes with a great responsibility. Do we have the right to determine the genetic fate of our children? How do we balance the potential benefits of genetic enhancement with the risk of creating new forms of inequality? Who decides what forms of life we should create and for what purposes? These are questions that we as a society need to answer as we step into this new era of genetic engineering. And then there are the risks. Just as genetic engineering has the potential to solve many of our problems, it also has the potential to create new ones. Mistakes in the editing process could lead to unforeseen consequences. And there's the risk of misuse. The same technology that can cure genetic diseases could also be used to create harmful biological agents. Yet it's clear that the potential benefits of genetic engineering are too great to ignore. We have the opportunity to eradicate genetic diseases, to enhance our capabilities, to create new forms of life that could solve some of our most pressing problems. But we also have a responsibility to navigate this new terrain with caution, to ensure that the promise of genetic engineering is realized in a way that is ethical and beneficial for all. The promise that genetic engineering holds is truly exciting, yet it comes with its fair share of risks. As we look to the future, it's clear that genetic engineering will play a significant role in shaping our world. But it's up to us to determine how that role is played out. It's up to us to ensure that the promise of genetic engineering is realized in a way that benefits all of humanity and not just a select few. It's up to us to navigate the ethical dilemmas that come with this powerful new technology to ensure that the future we create is one that we can all be proud of. The question then becomes, where do we draw the line? It's a query that echoes through the halls of scientific research centers, university classrooms, and even casual coffee shop conversations. The line we're discussing here isn't a physical one, but a moral and ethical boundary. It's the divide between the immense potential of genetic engineering and the profound risks that come with meddling in nature's blueprint. Let's start by acknowledging the incredible possibilities that genetic engineering offers. Imagine a world where genetic diseases are things of the past. Picture a future where humans can enhance their capabilities beyond their natural limits. Think of a time when we can create entirely new forms of life, designed to serve specific purposes. It almost sounds like science fiction, doesn't it? But with the advancements in genetic engineering, these scenarios are moving closer to reality. However, with great power comes great responsibility. And the power to manipulate the very fabric of life is perhaps the greatest power of all. It's here that we encounter the ethical dilemmas associated with genetic engineering. The potential to cure genetic diseases and enhance human capabilities is undeniably exciting. But what happens when we start playing with nature in such a profound way? What are the potential consequences, and are we prepared to handle them? Consider this analogy. Genetic engineering is like a powerful sports car. 
In the right hands, it can be used to achieve incredible speeds, take sharp turns with precision, and even win races. But in the wrong hands, it can lead to accidents, damage, and even loss of life. The same is true for genetic engineering. In the right hands, it can lead to unprecedented advancements in medicine, agriculture, and other fields. But in the wrong hands, it can lead to unforeseen consequences that could potentially harm individuals, communities, and even entire ecosystems. The fine line we're discussing then lies in determining how, when, and why we use this powerful tool. On one side of the line, we have the potential to do great good, to cure diseases, enhance our capabilities, and improve our quality of life. On the other side, we have the potential to do great harm, to create new problems, exacerbate existing ones, and even threaten the balance of life on Earth. The answer, perhaps, lies in ethical reflection and careful consideration. It's crucial to establish clear guidelines and regulations for the use of genetic engineering, to ensure that it's used responsibly and for the benefit of all. It's equally important to foster open, honest, and inclusive conversations about the ethical implications of genetic engineering, to ensure that all voices are heard and all perspectives are considered. We need to be fully aware of the potential risks and challenges, and we need to be prepared to address them. And finally, it's crucial to remember that just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. We need to respect the intricate balance of nature and consider the long-term implications of our actions. It's a line that we'll need to tread carefully, with wisdom, humility, and a deep sense of responsibility. It's a delicate balance that requires careful consideration as we move forward into the future of genetic engineering. Let's do so with both excitement and caution, embracing the possibilities while respecting the fine line that separates promise from peril. The future of genetic engineering is a journey into the unknown. As we venture further into the 21st century, we're standing on the precipice of a new era, an era where genetic engineering could potentially redefine what it means to be human. The possibilities are as exciting as they are daunting. Imagine a future where genetic diseases are no more than a memory, where parents can ensure their children are born free of inherited disorders. A world where we could potentially create new forms of life, opening up a myriad of possibilities for biotechnology and environmental conservation. It's like being handed a new tool, a tool with the power to build or destroy and we're still figuring out how to use it responsibly. The ability to cure genetic diseases, for instance, is a hugely positive prospect. But what happens when we start using these technologies not just for healing, but for enhancement? And what about the potential to create new forms of life? On one hand, this could revolutionize fields like agriculture and medicine, creating crops that can survive in harsh climates or bacteria that can clean up oil spills. But on the other hand, we're stepping into uncharted territory, meddling with the very fabric of life itself. We need to ask ourselves whether we have the right to play God, to create life in our own image. Navigating these ethical dilemmas will be one of the greatest challenges of this new era. We need to have ongoing, open conversations about the implications of genetic engineering, involving scientists, ethicists, policymakers, and the public. Decisions about how we use this technology should not be made behind closed doors, but should be the result of a broad societal consensus. In the end, the future of genetic engineering will be largely shaped by how we, as a society, choose to handle these ethical dilemmas. Will we use this technology responsibly, with care and consideration for the potential risks, or will we rush headlong into the unknown, guided by our curiosity and ambition, ignoring the potential consequences? And as we venture further down this path, we must remember the importance of ethical reflection. We must ensure that the potential benefits of genetic engineering are accessible to all, not just a privileged few. We must remember that while we have the power to change our genes, we are not defined by them. And as we navigate the challenges and opportunities ahead, we must remember the words of the great geneticist Barbara McClintock. The future of biology lies in our ability to understand ourselves. As we continue to explore this exciting new frontier, let's do so with our eyes wide open, aware of the potential risks but also the incredible possibilities that lie ahead. Let's ensure that the future of genetic engineering is a future we can all look forward to. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the future of genetic engineering. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.